Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this updated video on the tropics. And so I hope that you're all having a really great Sunday thus far. And so in this video, we will be talking about that disturbance in the Caribbean in Vest 95L that is a problem for Jamaica. It's no longer in question. It is going to be bringing impacts to the area. And as a matter of fact, the National Hurricane Center states that Jamaica should closely monitor the progress of the system. And that is usually uh, when impacts are expected and not just minor impacts. And so uh, this video is not to instill any fear, but I just want to keep you guys informed on what is happening. And so we're going to be delving into all the necessary details about the system so that you understand what is potentially up ahead for the next few days and so before i go into details please do subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update and to show your support for the channel you can leave a like on this video okay so for my fellow jamaicans as i said i do not want to instill fear however we definitely have to be keeping an eye on the system so returning to the infrared satellite view here we're seeing that it is not quite organized just yet that rainfall activity is quite widespread and that can do more damage because the system isn't compact i mean the center is uh, offshore of hispaniola right now however we're seeing where all of that activity is affecting areas as far as the Eastern Caribbean. And as I speak about that, uh, the Lesser Antilles are likely experiencing some inclement weather because the environment is quite moist and so uh, that has led to the development of more showers and thunderstorms so hopefully nothing intense is going on compared to what was happening especially in Trinidad and Tobago a few days ago and so uh, back to the main disturbance right now so let's go ahead and look at the National Hurricane Center's outlook map and we're seeing here that there is still a high 70% chance of development and so uh, recon we're gonna get some recon data later today if necessary those uh, hurricane hunters are going to be flying into the system and investigating it and so what is really expected uh when is jamaica going to be feeling impacts and what are those impacts likely to be so we're going to be looking at all of the model runs five model runs and then we'll be looking at current conditions that are out there for the system so we're going to be kickstarting things with gfs and so of course if you're not too keen on this map it is a map showing the isobars which are those black lines and they represent areas of equal pressure however we're looking for them being in a circular manner being closed isobars uh, and once it has a pressure below 1013 millibars then we're looking at a low pressure area and uh, if the pressure is really low and we see a lot of those isobars that indicates an intensifying or a strong system and so let's see what the GFS is expecting so as you're going to be heading into Monday going to Tuesday that is when the system is going to be at its closest approach to Jamaica and then it's going to continue to make its way uh, towards the west headed to Central America and as of now GFS is suggesting that uh, there could be some intensification of the system once it makes its way uh, over into the vicinity of Belize and it could make landfall in the southern part of the country bringing with it some uh, dangerous impacts and so uh, that's what the GFS has let's see what the others have to say about this moving on to Euro so Euro is expecting that uh, the system is going to be uh, a bit more south of Jamaica than and the GFS is expecting. Uh, however, it is still in very close proximity to the island and it could bring along with it some uh, dangerous impacts. And so uh, that is going to be around Tuesday. And then as we're going to be heading into the middle of the week, going to Wednesday and Thursday, that is when Euro is expecting that the system is going to be making its way into Belize. So here we have two models now expecting that, hey, Belize, you need to watch out for this in the long term. However, it's just a model run and nothing is solid just yet. Let's move on to the CMC. And CMC is expecting that the system is going to be passing uh, just south of Jamaica, still bringing impacts and intensifying as it is going to be making its way to Belize and of the models we've seen so far CMC is the only one expecting that we're going to be having this much intensification of the system before it makes its way inland, which isn't impossible but conditions have to be conducive in order for that to happen. And then as for the NAVGEM, the Navy model here is expecting that the center of that uh, disturbance is going to be passing over Jamaica and then it is going to be making a little bit of a dip and heading into Belize. So here we have all these models here expecting that Belize will be affected. And finally, the ICON. ICON shows a system very, very close to Jamaica as we're going to be heading into uh 
Tuesday of this week. And then the model has the system making its way into Belize. So if you're in Belize, please be on watch for this system and not just Belize, but other surrounding areas such as Honduras, uh, the Yucatan, as well as Guatemala. And so guys, my fellow Jamaicans, again, please be on alert because we're likely to be impacted. It is sort of definite right now uh, at this point in time in terms of all the heavy rainfall as well as gusty winds. So those impacts are possible as we're going to be uh, progressing into the early part of this week. And so I just feel the need to reiterate the fact that you guys should take the necessary precautions and stay safe. Do not attempt to cross flooded roadways and anywhere you see water just turn around don't drown and if you know that you live in a region that inundates easily or floods easily whenever it rains heavily it's best you seek shelter and uh, stay safe and take no risks with this system here because though it is not a tropical cyclone that does not make it any less dangerous than a tropical cyclone because that heavy rainfall that continuous heavy rainfall is still likely still possible from the system here so I'm just imploring you all to take the necessary precautions and stay safe i certainly will as we're going to be heading into this week and so now how about conditions for the system so let's go ahead and look at the wind shear so this is essential in uh, tropical cyclone developments because if there is strong upper level winds then it isn't likely that we're going to be seeing a whole lot happen and uh, that unfavorable wind shear is indicated by the reds meanwhile the yellow indicates neutral shear and the green means favorable shear so uh, the shear is getting a little bit more conducive in the vicinity of 95 L and uh, we see that it is uh, conducive for majority of the Caribbean at this point so let's see if the system is going to start to take advantage of this and really start to get itself together get those uh, areas of deep convection getting organized so let's see if we're, uh, we're going to be seeing that trend as we progress throughout today and the stronger it gets the more impact Jamaica will be feeling and not just Jamaica as a matter of fact other areas are going to be feeling impacts from this which includes includes uh, sections of the Lesser Antilles, the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, and of course Hispaniola. So all these areas are going to be feeling impacts. But of course, I have a lot of viewers from Jamaica and I'm Jamaican. So I'm definitely uh, trying to focus on my country as best as possible. But you guys are going to be feeling impacts as well because uh, the system is quite disorganized, as I said earlier. Because going back to the satellites, here we have it. Not a very organized system here and all this moisture is is affecting areas as far east as the Lesser Antilles. And so guys, now let's move on to this water vapor map. And so we have the yellows and oranges that indicate dry air, dry stable conditions. Meanwhile, those whites and those greens, they indicate more moisture. And so uh, as the system is going to be making its way towards the west, it is going to be moving into all that dry air, which might help to suppress any significant development and intensification. But uh, one thing up ahead that is definitely going to be trying to fuel it is the sea surface temperatures and looking at this ocean heat content map right here uh, where we're seeing those reds uh, those shades of red in the Caribbean uh, the central and northwestern Caribbean that is indicating deep warm waters and I mean we're progressing into the, the latter days of the hurricane season and so here we are see that things are still quite favorable and um, some models have even been suggesting that something might develop in the South Caribbean after 95L would have made its way over over into Central America so that is not out of the picture but of course only time will tell what the eventuality is going to be and of course guys I'm going to be keeping you updated as you're going to be progressing into the next several days and so that is really it for this update video and if you have any questions you can leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there and of course remember to always be with 